Hey, what's up, guys? It's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Canadian Pacific GMD SD40 2F. Now, this is pretty much an SD40 2 in a Cal unit, which is a full width body. And here's a 360 view of it. It was nicknamed the Red Barn by Rail fans. And also, one notable feature about this is actually this thing slopes inwards a bit towards the back of the cab, so there's supposed to be like a little door here. And it is really thin, and I actually didn't notice it. I thought it would just be like a regular flat on the sides, but actually that thing dips a little bit. I found that quite interesting. And uh, yeah, this is actually a commission, again, by Zachary Plant. He commissioned a lot of builds uh, recently, and this is his latest one. We also do have some Amtrak. I forgot what the... I think that's like the P3010. No, it's the P30CH. That is coming up soon after this one. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, you want to take out gray concrete. I'm going to make that two blocks above the tracks and make it two by three like this. Then we're going to take out nether brick stairs and we're going to add it a three block wide. You want to face it inwards on the sides like that and upside down nether brick stairs on the side and one on top facing the front. Then we're going to add a coupling in the middle which is a dark oak slab and a tripwire hook. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I just woke up so my throat is a bit dry. Let's add the tripwire hooks like that and we're going to go in the back and we're going to add black concrete eight blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to take out another brick wall and we're going to add one here. Skip a block, add two, skip a block, add one. And then we're going to add block concrete for the rest of the sides. Then we're going to go on the other side and pretty much copy the same exact pattern over here. And this is like right on top of the bogey. All right, then we'd go underneath here and we're going to add a gray concrete inside right there in the middle. All right, so next we're going to add a quartz slab, two of them here. They're going to be the steps to get up. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add inside a gray terracotta block. It's going to be a pair of wheels like that. And a dark oak stairs right behind it. And we're going to skip a block and do the same thing here. And we'll need like three pairs of wheels. Let's add another one here right there in the back. Alright, so on the inside part, in between these stairs, we need to add another brick block to all of them. These are the traction motors. And in between here, we'd add another brick uh, slab like that. And then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate in the middle, and also to the front of these stairs. And also to the back stairs right here, we're going to open that up. Same thing on the other side, just adding all these fence gates, like so. Then we're going to add in hoppers to the sides of all our wheels. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add uh, another brick stairs upside down in the front, facing the back. And then right side up facing the back, and then a slab, and then we're going to repeat the same thing. Just two stairs, slab, and then two stairs. So we'll make these three semicircle shapes. Same thing on the other side. Just add in two stairs, slab, two stairs like that, slab, and then two stairs. All right, in the back here, we're going to add uh, three blocks wide of another brick slab in the middle. It's going to be an upper block like that. All right, so then we're going to add in uh, this birch fence on the side here. Like that, same thing on the other side, like so. All right, so next we're gonna add gray concrete. We're gonna add it to the bottom here, three blocks wide and nine blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're gonna do the other side, same thing. And fill in the middle part like that. Then we're gonna add in um, the other brick stairs across the bottom, upside down. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add in three um, gray concretes on the inner three blocks, like that, just in the front. 
And on this side, we're going to add an upside down nether brick stairs here, and then two nether brick slabs. Then we're going to add gray concrete all the way across to the back, and across this back section. Now the other side, it's very similar, except this this part in the front, it's going to be three slabs like that, and then gray concrete following it like that. All right, it looks like this so far. And now we're going to go to the back and add three nether brick uh, slabs like that. And yeah, we'll have to copy this front section just as you see where this nether brick slab is over here, just rotated 180 degrees. All right, so once you paste it, it should look like this. Then we're going to go to the front, add um, two L shapes of birch fences, like so. And let's add a quartz slab in the middle. Behind that, we're going to add three blocks wide of stone slab. Then behind it, we need to add this like checkerboard pattern of red concrete and quartz. So let's add three in the bottom, red, and then quartz in between. Then we're going to make that checkerboard pattern here on top. And next layer, just three blocks wide checkerboard. And on this side is actually going to be uh, quartz stairs for that little window on the side here. It's going to be upside down like that. And then right behind it, we're going to add three red concrete blocks here, and then five red concrete blocks. All right, and then on the side, we're going to add two white concretes right here, both sides, and then red concrete all the way on the bottom part. Just fill that in on the side, all the way to the back. All right, and then we're going to add red concrete, a row, or rather a column all the way on top, just one block past that white concrete. And this side here, there's going to be two black stained glass panes on the sides. And then black stained glass block in the front uh, edges like that, and the one in the middle. Then I'm going to add red concrete, like an upside down U shape right there in the front. Then sides here, we're going to add acacia stairs, two blocks here. Same thing on the other side. And on top, we're going to add a red carpet right above this quartz. And above the other one, we're going to add a dark oak trap door. Then the middle, we're going to add a stone button like that. And then two ladders here. Then dark oak sign here. Same thing on the other side. And then a bell in the middle right there. All right, then uh, we're also going to add in these acacia buttons down here bottom corners and what else can we do let's go to the side here and we're going to add three acacia buttons here and then a birch button above the last one same thing on the other side like that all right so next we're going to add red concrete we'll go to the back here go on the inner wall and we're going to add six red concrete so one two three four five six basically goes to the end of this like um where this section ends. <laughs> Alright, so next we're going to go to the back of the cab. I'm going to add red concrete in the inner wall. It's going to be six blocks long and it's going to line up all the way right there to that slab. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make it two blocks tall. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, so then on this side, we could add three red concretes here, like that. And then we're gonna add a black concrete, and then two red concretes. Other side, we're gonna add a row across with red concrete all the way. And then we're gonna add a black stained glass paint right in front of this black concrete, and a white glass paint underneath it. Now, on top, we could add red concrete here and then two gray concretes, and then three bedrocks. Same thing on the other side. Red concrete here, two gray concretes, then three bedrocks. All right, so we're gonna be back on the side and let's add a row across the bottom with acacia stairs all the way across facing outwards and the last one's gonna be curved towards the front. Same thing on the other side, just add in stairs and the last one curves towards the front 
like so. Then we're going to take out red glass pane and we're going to pretty much fill in these bottom two rows of red concrete all the way across. And red glass pane here and then black glass pane across this section with the gray concrete and the bedrock. And the other side, we're just going to add a row across the bedrock, I mean the red concrete with red glass panes and also that one at the top and then black stain glass pane for the rest. All right, looks like that so far. Now, right behind it, we're going to add in, it says CP rail here. So that's going to be like uh, four white concrete blocks here, like that. Same thing on the other side. It's going to be on the outer edge. All right, cool. And then on this side, we're going to add four more red concrete. So one, two, three, four, and a black stained glass block. And the other side, four more red concretes and a black stained glass block again. All right, then we're going to um, go over here. These bottom two layers, we're going to add red concrete all the way across to that glass. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll add a row across the top section, red concrete all the way across. Same thing on the other side. All right, so once we reach here, we're gonna add in these bedrocks. So there's gonna be, I think, six blocks long. So let's add it on top. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the other side. And then on top of that bedrock, we need to add in these uh, nether brick stairs facing outwards, like that. Same thing on the other side. All right, cool. All right, so then we're going to connect these two parts together using red concrete, three blocks wide. And we're going to link that up all the way to the front. So let's go across all the way. It's going to take us a while. Let's just go over these parts here and link it up to the front roof of the cab. All right. And then we're going to go back this section and then we're going to add in acacia stairs on the side of this roof. So just go all the way across. It's going to be pretty much just acacia all the way. Ideally, there'll be red stairs, but acacia is the closest we've got to red stairs. All right, so we're almost there like that. All right, so um, at the back section, we're going to add in quartz. Uh, so this row is going to be two right here, and then red concrete in the middle. And I'm going to make this checkerboard pattern all the way down there. Let's try to do that. Checkerboard. All the way to the bottom. Like so. And then we're going to add three blocks wide of quartz. Uh, slabs. Then on the edges, we're going to add another brick slab. All right, then we're going to add in some glass panes. So go right to this red concrete one. We're going to add red glass pane. And then white glass pane, then red, and then I think white down here. It's the same thing on the other side, just red, white, and red, white. Then the inner parts here, we're going to fill that in with red concrete all the way across to the back. Same thing on the other side. So let's do that over here. Like so. So in the back, we're going to add a birch button on top, stone button underneath, and then replace this red concrete with a black stained glass block. Then on the left hand side of that, we're going to add a ladder using <laughs> Minecraft ladders like so. And then we're going to add in these two L shapes using uh, birch fences pretty much. They're going to be sticking out a little bit so you can walk around this area. And we're going to replace this plow underneath with gray concrete. And we're going to add levers right underneath the trip wire hooks like so. And is that pretty much it for the back? think so. So now um, let's add in some detail on the roof. 
So we're going to add three blocks wide of red carpet here. Then in the middle, we're going to add four daylight detectors. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to make it all blue. Then we're going to add two nether brick slabs. And we're going to make like a C shape or a U shape around this with acacia slabs. All right, then there's actually going to be a horn on this side. So we're add in dark oak a fence gate right there. So now I'm going to add in these acacia trap doors, and there's going to be seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And at the seventh one, we're going to make it three blocks wide. And then we'll need a dark oak trap door in the middle. Acacia trap doors on the sides of it, so it's like a two by three. And then we're going to add four acacia trap doors. So one, two, three, four. At the fourth one, we're going to make it three blocks wide. And then we're going to add two dark oak trap doors and acacia trap doors on the sides of that. Then we're going to add a stone button. And we're going to make like four of them. They're going to be all spaced apart like so. Then we're going to add in two red carpets. So one goes above the bell and one goes above the cab. So it looks like they're connected like so. All right, so let's add the buttons. Let's go over here. Add a acacia button here. Skip block, add another one, skip block, add another one, skip block, add another one. Then we're going to skip a row down here and pretty much do the same thing with the for these bottom two rows. And let's go on the other side and do the same thing pretty much. So just have four of them spaced apart and do the same thing on the bottom rows. All right, and then for this side, we're going to add in uh, two by two dark oak buttons in the back here on top and then a column of acacia skip block and another column of acacia buttons the other side would go over here skip block away from that uh, window let's add in a birch button here and then acacia button for the rest of this two by three like that all right so next we're going to add some side view mirrors using iron bar like that same thing on the other side and then for this part we need to add in uh, a bedrock here replace this block bedrock then we will replace these two red concrete and then we're going to skip three of these stairs and add a two by two of red concrete here and then this um, acacia stair section needs to be curved like that towards the front. All right, so one last detail, I almost forgot to add this, but we're gonna go on this side and we're gonna add in iron bars, three blocks tall alongside this door, like that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it on how to build the Canadian Pacific uh, GMD SD40-2F in Minecraft. And thanks to Zachary Plant for commissioning this build. If you guys like this video, remember to hit that like button down below because it helps channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I'll be uploading more videos such as this in the future and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.